weapon of choice today is a uh, Suzuki Raider, and I'm going to go show you that when we get to the parking lot. But right now, I guess I'm going to eat because I'm kind of hungry. It's kind of early. And I'll... Uh, it's about that time, you know what I mean? All right, guys, so... Uh, I'm going to be ready to take off now, and I'm going to show you guys this bike. I think y'all will like it. Y'all know we do all kinds of shit over here. And uh, here it is. My ride for the day, Suzuki Raider. 150cc engine. Motorcycle uh, get together. Anyway, they uh, they they group around together here, and we're all going to the mountain. And the mountain is down that way. Can y'all see it? So this is where all the bikers go on a weekend for a ride out. So that's exactly what we're going to do today. We met some people. They're over here right now. So and um, it's going to be fun. I like to do, you know, cars, bikes, and on my wish list for 2024, no, not, I'm sorry, 2025 is going to be that three-wheel, three-wheel motorcycle, hopefully. And once that happens, then, you know, I'm really going to show you the Philippines, you know what I mean? So this is our get-together. This is my ride today. I was supposed to be a professional racer. If you're a professional racer, you should know better. You know? So what he did? He went, around, he went around all the corners, and then one of the corners he came around. Well, I'm not gonna laugh. It's not. It's not a funny. It's not a laughing matter. But God, what an idiot. The uh, the last corner he came around. There was a van coming the opposite way, and because of the speed the guy was going. Up hitting the van right in the middle in the front and then he hit the railing on the side and there were pieces of him everywhere okay we're talking about a really really popular dude he had you know one of those rich upbringing whatever you want to call it and so he ended up uh getting splattered all over the road and I was just telling those kids oh yeah that's all exciting and stuff like that until you die and then they have to pick up your pieces right so uh that's that it's almost like falling in love for the first time all over again to the feeling but it's 
So guys, uh, that concludes my lunch at this uh, beautiful restaurant. It's like, uh, it's like a treehouse, see it? Yeah. Pretty awesome, right? So, if you guys ever come here, it's called Paseo Rizal, okay? And it's the... Uh... Thank you. Thank you, Ingat. So, um... That's not mine. Who's that? Them? Okay. So, uh, they got everything you'd want. Hold on. They got everything you'd want in here. You know, you could have lunch, you could have dinner. And, uh, you can come here at night, you know. <laughs> but uh, it's a cool place to eat. And you can experience all the crazy motorcyclists here. They're just dangerous. I mean, who in the right mind wants to go 200 freaking miles an hour in a hairpin per... They just, they just... They just had somebody die. I told you that a minute ago, right? They had somebody die about a month ago, a month and a half ago. My God, they were still picking... I think legend says to this day that they're still picking up pieces of his body. Anyway, I'm out. I'm going to go to the next scene, okay? I'll talk to you in a minute. Close to my chest. check out some of the crazy riders doing some really crazy shit on this road. And I'm going to show you that in a minute.
joining me on the video today and I hope you enjoyed it and uh, we're gonna do a lot more of these uh, kinds of road trips in the future. Different kinds of cars and different kinds of scenery. I know you all like that stuff. So anyway, thanks for watching the video guys and um, stay tuned for the next video. Yeah.